So hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amesy's Corner here at Approved Auto and Plastow. So uh, I got a big job I'm looking at right now. I got this uh, 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel in this truck right here. Rusty all. Look how rusty this thing is. But uh, yeah, it uh, it's a blown motor. This thing, uh, I'm not exactly sure what went wrong with it, but uh, it don't go no more. It don't spin over no more. That's going to be kind of interesting with the torque converter bolts, but... Um, yeah, I got a, uh, we got the engine right here for it, and I gotta say, that is one large engine in a pickup truck, man. Look at the tall, look how tall that thing is. So, anyways, yeah, to change this motor, because it's so damn big, um, you gotta take the whole front of the truck apart, you know, the hood comes off, of course, but then the, uh, I guess the whole grill stays on the hood, but all the, the coolers, radiator, inner cooler... AC condenser, upper radiator support, um, I don't know if this lower radiator support has to come off or not. Uh, some people say they actually cut those to, to get the motor open. I don't, I don't believe in cutting body panels or parts to get a motor out. So anyways, yeah, this is, takes about uh, 16 to 20 hours, uh, considering how rusty it is. So I'm probably going to be on this for three days pretty much straight, two and a half, three days or so. So I think I'm going to set you guys up over here somewhere on a time-lapse camera. Get a view up like that, maybe, or something right around there, and uh, we'll see how long this thing takes. It's going to be one hell of a I think I found the problem. I think I, uh, I think I found out what's wrong. Looks like the uh, looks like the camshaft snapped. That's the uh, that's the camshaft right up there, and it looks like it broke and took out the side of the block. I guess uh, what happened is this thing ran, had an oil leak, it was burning oil or something like that, and they uh, they ran it out of oil. It looks like what failed, the camshaft snapped and. And that's the end of that. So, well, there's my diag done. Well, time to get some bolts undone.
Guys, boy, what a long, tedious, dirty job this Dodge was, man. What a dirty beast this thing was. But uh, there it is, all back together, man. Other than the batteries being junk, this thing started up like it never shut off, like it was never taken apart. I like that kind. Gotta love that kind. But yeah, running great. Ready for a sticker. It's past its one checkup. That means everything's good. No check engine lights, no lights, warning lights, or nothing. It's uh. I don't think there's any leaks. Boy, what a heavy engine this was, man. That engine crane did not like lifting that thing. But yeah, there she is, all uh, running on all six. It's not leaking a drop of fluid. Everything's, everything's fine as kind, boys, fine as kind. Well, anyways, I gotta get the shop cleaned up. We had to, uh, you guys no doubtedly saw, we had to move the bench and move my toolbox just because I didn't want to walk back and forth. Uh, it's about as far as I can get in there with the copyrighted music playing. But yeah, I got a, I got a big mess to clean up. It, uh, it was Dodge everywhere, boys. Dodge everywhere. So anyways, yeah, I got to get this out of the way. We got stuff going on. I got to clean up and get all of my day. And boy, this, uh, this video ended up being a lot longer than I expected it to be. Uh, four days or, well, four days in total, but it was more like two and a half days, I think, mean, I don't know how many hours, 20 hours or so with all the swapping. Uh, yeah, I had to swap the wire and harness, the engines weren't exactly the same, but uh, anyways guys, like I said, I gotta get to work just because I got the one job done for the morning, it doesn't mean I ain't got four or five more others sitting waiting to be fixed, so yeah, awesome boys, awesome. Until next time, keep it out of the cabbage. <laughs>